from the Sky News Center. This is Sky News with Chris Roberts and Lucy Alexander. Hello, good evening. You're watching Sky News at 9 o'clock. Four British servicemen have been killed in an attack on a boat patrol in Basra. Three more suffered what are being described as very serious injuries. There's a lot of talk about whether we should be engaging with Iran and with Syria, but particularly with Iran. Uh, if Iran is, uh, is trying to kill British servicemen, uh, are we going to have any luck talking to Iran? Do they want to talk to us? There's certainly been a lot of talk uh, over the uh, last year or two that uh, Tony Blair has been seen as uh, George Bush's poodle. And yet many people would say that he has got his finger on the pulse, that he would look at the Palestinian issue as, uh, as core to dealing with a lot of the conflict in the Middle East. The fact that Tony Blair is now uh, uh, allegedly a thing about putting pressure on the Bush administration to talk to Syria and Iran. Is that something that you see as hopeful for the future? We're at the Red Carpet Bash 2006 and these people are ready to party. What a fabulous dress. Thank you very much, that's very kind. And can I just quickly ask you, underneath that kilt, are you suitably dressed? I am a true Scotsman. <laughs> The moment you've all been waiting for. They're young, they're beautiful, they are talented. They're the sugar babes. Fantastic performance, girls. Thank you very much. We were very nervous. Yeah, we were really <laughs> nervous. But it, but it turned out to be really good and the crowd were wicked as well. And the audience just really went with you, didn't they? Yeah, it was really great fun actually. And everyone started dancing and everything. So yeah, good time. It's a process dating back to medieval times. Today, cardinals start the process of deciding who should succeed Pope John Paul II. Well, joining us now in the studio is uh, Father Peter Wilson, the chaplain of uh, the University of London. And it does seem perhaps in bad taste, but people are betting on this. And there's so much speculation. Will he be old, young, black, Latin American, uh, Italian? Where would you put your money? Hello, I'm Lucy Alexander and welcome to the third series of eLife about technology supporting companies and governments and transforming the way we live our lives. We're back with some exciting changes. We're in this integrated penthouse, for instance, because one of our new missions is to show how technology is rapidly moving beyond the workplace and into our homes. Just got some uh, breaking news uh, for you from Baghdad. Uh, the ongoing trial of Saddam Hussein, as you can see there live, he's still in the dock. And in the last few minutes, he uh, has said, uh, made accusations against the Americans holding him. Um, he said today that he'd been beaten and tortured while in US custody and still had the marks on his body. Just a bit of breaking news for you. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, another battle between the uh, Tories and the Labour Party. Margaret Dixon, you may remember her, the 69-year-old woman whose operation on her shoulder had been cancelled seven times. Uh, her operation has now taken place at Warrington General Hospital. Tonight, Downing Street leads the fight against street crime. But as the Met Chief and the Home Secretary meet, could they learn from controversial Commander Paddock? The media coverage Lloyd got back home in London was pretty big and not surprisingly, America is equally intrigued. New York is a mad, mad city, but it's not every day they get to see someone walking around like this in a diving suit. Hello again, you're watching eLife, which is about technology transforming our lives. And every week at this stage in the programme, we talk about how it's transforming our homes. This is the fun part. If you've seen some of the lavish homes from future episodes and thought that wasn't you, well, maybe this is functional, safe, fun, but not too flashy. Look at this guy, six days, and Lloyd Scott is still walking. 130 pounds on his back, nine stone. He's doing incredibly well. And any moment now, he's gonna cross this finishing line where the whole of the New York media are here to meet him. And here he is, crossing the line now. Two members of the New York Fire Department are here to greet him. Plus, the guy who he owes his life to, Andrew Burgess, his bone marrow donor. Lloyd, how are you feeling? Oh, tired but uh, elated. Another fantastic finish. And a great response from New York. It's fantastic. 2.17.42. You've got to have sympathy with her. You know, if a girl's got to go, she's got to go, hasn't she? I was just surprised that she came so close to that little awning and didn't go underneath it. It would have only taken another second of her time. And the world needn't have known that she had dummy cramps or whatever she had to do. A second. A second is <laughs> a, a second. A second is a second. And every penny counts. Now, here comes the D. 
I'm so funny. Now for a fully integrated home, you're going to need professionals and we'll explain how to find them next week. Or if you're impatient, check out our website. The address www.elife, that's with a hyphen, dot TV. It has information on the series, plus more on connected homes and how different technologies work.